Hi guys, Joko here again and for this video, I'm going to show you some of the key licks I wrote for my new song Push. Push is now streaming on Spotify, here on YouTube Music, and other online digital platforms so I do hope you could check it out. But before we go to the licks, I hope you could push that subscribe button if you haven't yet because it will help this channel in a very big way. Ready? Let's go! I'll be using the Sire T7 FM. This is the guitar I used for the music video. It's a very versatile guitar and it delivers what my song Push requires because I wrote and produced it with a variety of tones and techniques. I'll also be using the new XMG 400. This has not been released yet as of production of this video but my artist custom patches will be in the factory settings of this baby once it hits the stores. Alright, first up is the intro riff. So for this riff, I went with the edge of breakup tone and it goes like this. So first of all, the song is in drop D, so we have D, A, D, G, E, E, drop D. So let's play it slowly first. So let's break down the whole riff two measures at a time. So let's start with the first two measures. So we have... So let's play it slowly. Take note that we're going to use a lot of hybrid picking on this riff. For the first part, we're going to do this arpeggio, this D major 7th, but we have a 6th here. We're going to have the 6th hammer on to a 7th, so. so the intervals are 1, 5, 6, 7. So next, we're going to have this line right here. So for this line, I just look at it as an F-sharp pentatonic, so... So all together. So next, we're gonna go to this F-sharp minor chord, so... So after that, we're going to go back to this line. Then end it like this with a dissonance. So, all together. So, let's put the first two measures together. So, for the next two measures, we have this. Now, slowly. So for the first part, we're going to do this. An open string on the lower D and the higher D string. So then, then we're going to connect it with this. So we have an open string on the lower D string, open string on the higher D string, hammer on to the 7th fret of the higher D string, then go to the 9th fret of the G string. So all together. Next is this quick run. Pick the ninth fret of the higher D string, then pluck with your middle finger the 10th fret of the B string. Then 
pull off to the 9th fret of the B string. So, let's combine it with the first part. Then we're going to do a descending sextuplet. So, all together. And end it with... So for this last line, it's pretty easy, so... 6th fret of the upper D string, then I hammer on to the 7th fret of the upper D string, then with our pinky, play the 9th fret of the G string, then we're gonna pull off to the 6th fret of the G string. So all together. Now combine it all together. So for the next section, this is going to be tricky, but I know you can do it. Everything barred on the 9th fret. So with the barred 9th fret, we're going to play the A string, the G string, and the B string. So Then we're going to hammer on to the 10th fret of the B string. So all together. So after this, we're going to tap on the 17th fret then pull off again then tap on the 16th fret of the G string then with our ring finger we're gonna tap on the 18th fret of the G string so all together another one Make sure to make the notes ring, like... Then next, we're going to hammer on on the 7th fret of the A string. Then hammer on to its octave on the G string. Then after that... So... Then we're going to do this harmonic line. So for this harmonic line, A and upper D string and the 12th fret of the B string. So now let's put it all together. Now moving forward, we have these two measures. So again, we're going to do the 1, 5, 6, 7 pattern right here. Then a mute here. Then a double stop slide. So slowly. Then we're going to do this line right here. So all together. Then the next measure is... So start off with your middle finger on the 4th fret of the upper D string. Then hammer on with your pinky to the 6th fret. Then your pointer finger on the 2nd fret of the G string. So... Then your ring finger on the 5th fret of the B string. So all together. Make sure to make the notes ring, so... It's a bit of a stretch, but it sounds good, right? <laughs> then, after that, we're going to do this Manuel Garda Fernandez chicka chick. So... Slowly. Then we're going to do this line right here. So with this line, you're going to start it off with your middle finger on the 3rd string of the B string. Then pull off to the 2nd fret. Then your ring finger on the 4th fret of the G string. Then pull off to the 2nd fret of the G string. So Then with your pinky, you're going to slide from the 4th fret of the upper D string to the 6th fret of the upper D string. Then with your pointer finger, you're going to play the 2nd fret of the G string. You're going to play this dissonance right here. So, so 
all together. Now let's put these two measures together. Slowly. Now moving on to the last two measures, they sound like this. Slowly. Let's start off with this pattern. We have a D. It's like a D pattern. Then we're going to do these two double stops. So we have this minor third and a major third. After these two double stops, we're going to do the Manuel Gardner Fernandez Chick a Chick again. Make sure that the strings sound really dead so you can have a nice articulate scratch sound. So put it together. Then end it with this line. So again. Then for the last measure, we're going to have like a descendant pentatonic with a triplet feel that will end on a harmonic. So slowly. So let's put the last two measures together. So with every beat, you're going to do a strong articulation. So we have one, two, three, four. Then for the first two notes of every beat, I'm going to do a pull off. So then I'm going to alternate pick all the way. So all together, we have this. Next, we have the main riff that you'll find in a lot of parts in the song. It goes like this. So the first two measures sounds like this. So first you're going to do a D major 7th sus2 chord. So the pattern that we're going to use is this. So we have the pinky on the 5th fret of the A string. Then your pointer finger is going to bar everything on the 2nd fret. Then you're not going to play the E string. So it sounds like this. Then the strumming pattern goes like this. Then immediately after that, we're going to do these thirds pattern. So we have a minor third and a major third. So put it all together. Slowly. Then after the two thirds patterns, we immediately go to a MGF chicka chick pattern. So. so then end it with this. So for this, we have our index finger on the 7th fret of the upper D string. Then hammer on to the 9th fret of the upper D string. Then put it all together. Then on to the next measure, it sounds like this. We're going to do a muted 16th note strum pattern. Then, then after that, we instantly go to this F sharp minor pattern. 
So for this pattern, we have our pointer finger barring the 4th fret. Then our pinky on the 7th fret of the upper D string. Then our ring finger is going to hammer on to the 6th fret of the G string. So again. The next is... So it's a muted 16th note strum pattern going into an E major chord. So it sounds like this. So one, two, three. So for this chord pattern, again, we're going to use our index finger to bar everything on the second fret. Then we're going to hammer onto the fourth fret of the G string with our ring finger. So the pattern goes like this. So put it all together. So for the next part from this chord, immediately we're going to do this pattern. First off, we're going to do a mute, then immediately go to a D pattern, like this. So mute chord, mute chord, chord, chord. So, and after this chord, we're going to do this, a scratch into an E pattern again. Then after this pattern, we're going to do another chicka chick. Then after that chicka chick, we're going to do a scratch into an F sharp minor 7th sus 4 chord. Then another scratch into this chord. So for this chord, it's like an E5, but it's kind of stretched. So we have our pointer finger on the 7th fret of the a string, the middle finger on the octave, which is the ninth fret of the G string. Then our pinky on the 12th fret of the B string. Then it's going to bar the string under it. It's kind of a stretch, but yet again, it sounds good. Now, all together. Then for the second round of this riff, we're gonna loop it again. But this next part is different. Instead of, we're gonna play, we're gonna arpeggiate this chord. So for this pattern, we have our index finger barring everything on the second fret. So if it, since everything's barred right here, it's gonna be easier. Make sure to make those two notes ring. Then moving on, we're going to do the same thing. Then what's different here is this pattern. So for this sequence, we have... So we're going to play it like this. So for this chordal pattern, we have our middle finger on the 9th fret of the A string, then our ring finger on the 9th fret of the G string, our pinky on the 10th fret of the B string. So we're going to play it like this. Then after that, we're going to put our pointer finger on the 7th fret of the E string, then hammer on to the 9th fret of the E string with our ring finger. So all together. Then after that chord, we're going to do another chicka chick pattern. Then after that chicka chick pattern, we're going to do this sequence right here. Make sure to make the notes ring. So for this pattern, we have our middle finger on the 9th fret of the G string, our ring finger on the 10th fret of the B string, then our pointer finger on the 7th fret of the E string. So this. Then immediately slide your pointer finger to the 9th fret of the E string while the other two notes are still ringing. So if you put it together and there you go, the key riffs from my new single Push. I do hope that you learned something from this video that will help you play your favorite songs or even in writing your own songs. If you want to play around and jam on my new single Push, you can find the backing track here on my channel. So that's all for now. Joko here signing off. 
Stay safe always and keep pushing. Bye-bye.